Are you sitting there looking at your digital pictures in Windows File Explorer and wondering, what do I do with this mess? I'm here to tell you that folders can be your best friend in getting your pictures organized. Let's dive in. Hi, I'm Molly Bartelt. I own Pixology and we're on a mission to help people save their pictures everywhere. So if this is going to be helpful for you, if you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much. All right, right off the bat, the number one thing that's gonna help you with your folders is having a good naming formula. Our formula is real simple. It's four digits for the year, a dash, two digits for the month, a dash, and then two digits for the date, a space and a description. So you might have different forms of using the formula, but that's the formula to use, okay? So if you have pictures from Christmas Day, it's gonna be, you know, 2022-12-25, Christmas Day. Or if you have pictures from the month of December, it can just be 2022-12, December. It can be used in so many different ways, but having that basic formula is going to help your folders organize really nice and neatly for you, okay? Now, if you have seen any of my videos, you might know that we have a complete roadmap for organizing pictures once and for all. Today's video is just a basic tutorial on using File Explorer, and if you want to dive deeper into this topic, click a link down in the description below. It's on our master class. It's free and it shares the whole system and that might be more useful for you after you get the folders down. All right, so we're gonna take a quick tour of the File Explorer and I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks to make organizing your pictures with File Explorer fun and easy. All right, let's go. Here we are in my pictures folder. You can see this uh, path line right here. I'm on this PC in my pictures. Keep an eye on your path because this helps you compare pictures in different locations on your computer later on. Now, the interface for File Explorer has some key areas. We have the navigation pane down the left-hand side, kind of the work area, the view area in the middle, and then the details or preview pane on the right-hand side. Across the top, you have different functions that you can do, including you know, move and copy and creating a new folder and looking at the properties of something. The tab we care the most about is the view tab. This is how you're gonna structure your view to make it work for you, okay? So we have the navigation pane. In case you want to turn that off, you can uncheck it and it's gone. Uh, I'm gonna put it back on, I, I like to have it. And then you can toggle between preview or details pane here, or you can just turn that off, all right? So I leave the details view on because I, I like to have the details. I am gonna click one picture so that you can see the details that are showing here are the photo's metadata. For those of you who you know, want to know a little bit more about metadata, you can see the date taken here is something that can be edited, and you can also add tags to pictures. We think this is a little putsy in File Explorer, but it is possible. Back to the view here, uh, when I click Preview, instead of Details, you get a larger version of the picture you have selected. So I'm gonna leave the details pane on. And then the last thing that I want to point uh, down at the bottom here is how many items are in the folder. We recommend that you keep between 25 and 250 items in a folder. That is optimal for scrolling and your computer to function and keep up with. Some people have literally 650 folders in their pictures folder and it's, it's a mess, okay? And then some people have like 10,000 pictures in one folder. That's unworkable too. Your folder is gonna be really slow to scroll through. And so we wanna narrow things down to have between 25 and 250 items. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about in the, the view area here is the layout, all right? I have extra large icons on. I, I don't think that's as useful as large icons. I feel like I can see more going on in my folders. 
then um, you know when I have extra large selected. So I stick with large icons or the details view. Under the details, you get to see a lot of information about the pictures, you know, all at once. So size, tags, um, the date of the pictures, and sometimes, you know, the date of the pictures that's showing here is wrong. So we like to add the column date taken. And in order to do that, I'm going to just, um, I'm going to right click on it and unselect it. So this whole bar along here, you can add other columns by right clicking. So now I can select date taken. If uh, you don't see it here, you just click on more and then you'll scroll down to the date taken and check it. All right. And sometimes that will help you, you know, kind of figure out what's going on with your pictures. Um, and sometimes not. But anyway, that is the details view, which I think is really helpful. The other thing I want to show you while we're in this view is when you right click on an area that doesn't have a file or a folder, you can select new and create a new folder. That can be helpful uh, instead of having to go up to the home view and clicking new, although you can do it that way too. All right, let me go back to the view area here and go to large icons. One of the first things that you can do with cleaning folders up is look at folders that are empty. A lot of times people have new folders and they'll even have new folders within new folders. We can just delete them and it says empty folder so I'm confident I can do that. Also saved pictures and camera roll. Those are often system generated by Windows and I, I'll delete them. Sometimes they show up you know, in your computer updates. Um, so we'll just delete those and clean that up. We also can rename the folders that are existing already. So watch what happens when I rename these folders with our formula that I told you about. So 2020-07 other photos and then September 2022 those are just pictures from September. We use the month date, the month numbers in there now and I will just type in September photos. Okay, and then we have WSO 2018. That um, stands for Wisconsin Senior Olympics, which is near and dear to my heart. Uh, 2018 um, WSO photos. And then we have a, some zoo event, which I actually know happens in September. So I'm going to add 2019-09 zoo event. All right, right now it doesn't look like much, but when you hit the refresh, pictures, this little uh, circular refresh icon. Now my folders are organizing chronologically and it looks better in the details view here. You can see I've got some order coming to my folders already. I also find that in pictures folders, sometimes people have old programs uh, folders in there. So at one time I had Lightroom installed on my computer. There's nothing in there. I've, I haven't used it in a long time. And so we're going to delete that as well. Fast photo, this is related to a scanner. So sometimes people have, um, you know, scanned photos and the the scanner will create a folder to save the pictures in. Right now, I, I don't have anything that's important in there, so I can delete that too. My last three here are um, scanned photos. So sometimes you have you know a lot of scanned photos. This is a little bit of a mess. I have 344 in there, but that's a project for a different day. Um, and then we have slides for mom. I would know these are from the 1950s, 1950s to 1960s slides. So that's another way of, you know, making the formula work for you. So now when I hit refresh, that's the earliest stuff. And it's really cool when you see your folders come together. The video projects, you may see videos in your, um, Fold your pictures folder like you've created project folders and I would just move all your projects to, to one place. So I'll leave that in there for the time being. So we've cleaned things up a little bit. I also um, can drag the scanned photo and just drop it in the scanned pictures there. Now 
The next thing that's really important to do and to be able to do is to create two windows so that you can drag pictures from one place to the other. So I am going to right click on the folder icon, the file explorer icon, click file explorer, which brings up another window. So all I did was right click and I clicked file explorer and that made another window open. I like to just use my cursor to size the windows up. Uh, there's other quick ways to do this, um, but you kind of got to get used to using your, your mouse and finding the sides to adjust the, the views. So now I have you know two windows open and it gets easier to drag things around. So I'm going to go to the pictures folder on my right side, same thing going on here on the left. And this is where I could go to the view and just shut the details pane off and I get a little more view over there. I'm going to go into scanned photos. And if you see here, I have some of those uh, photos actually named. So we're going to go to the details view. And I actually had spent some time redating pictures years ago. This isn't something I've done recently. And I'm going to just click on that date. Um, column and that helps me resort things. All right. On the left hand side, I'm going to create a new folder called um, 1960s photos. All right. And it just stays down there until I click the refresh and now it's up there organized correctly. So I can go down this dates column and find my 1960s photos and there's just a few that I've actually dated that way and I can select them and drag them over to the the folder I created. So that means that I have cleaned up my scanned photos a little bit. You can use the two windows to copy pictures from your iPhone or USB drive or your Android phone to your pictures folder. Two windows is really vital to be able to move quickly. So watch, I'll just do another one that is 1970s photos. I click the first photo and hold the shift key down and then click the last photo and everything's selected in between. And I just drag it over there. All right. It doesn't look like much yet, but watch, they're in there now. And then when I have um, back to the main view, now my 1970s photos are organized. So when you're back in this view, you get to see how things are starting to come together. I just want to show you this last screen because this is um, those digital files organized in a nice folder structure. So you can see I have um, my bigger categories. When I go into 2010s, for instance, I've created a folder for each year. And then you can create folders inside for each month if you like, right? Okay. I, I hope that those tips and tricks help you with getting your file explorer under control and getting your pictures managed. If you are finding yourself still overwhelmed, because there are a lot of moving parts to this, truly, click the, the scheduling link down in the description. I'd be happy to talk with you and learn about your challenges and maybe see if um, we can help you any further. All right, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and happy photo organizing. We'll see you the next time.